Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the fornicators, nor idolaters, nor the effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, homosexuals, nor adulterers, nor sodomites, nor idolaters, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners have any inheritance of God's kingdom. I got some good news though. If you turn from those things, if you repent of your sins, God's blood will wash you clean. Because the blood of the Lamb will cleanse you from all unrighteousness if you give your life to Him. The Bible says that almost all things were purged in blood, but without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. Accept that free gift today. It might not be so free if you love your sin, because uh, without you forsaking your sin, there will be no forgiveness of sin. To forsake your sins is to go and sin no more. You know that Bible verse, John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because they have not believed on the only begotten Son of God. of God is in your life today. And God's grace teaches you to deny ungodliness and worldly lust, that you should live soberly and righteously in this present age, looking for that great and hopeful day, that glorious day when our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, returns. Jesus Christ is going to part the sky one day, and it's not going to be as a baby in a manger. He's going to part the sky with ten thousands of his saints to seek vengeance on all those who do not obey his gospel. If you're living in sin, regardless of what that sin is, the Bible says you are guilty of breaking the whole law of God and the love of the Father is not in you. You got to turn from your sins. You got to forsake your sins. Jesus Christ actually said twice in the New Testament, go and sin no more. When God doubles something up, he means it. He's not playing games. And uh, right now, you have the grace of God in your life. You better take advantage of it while you got it. Because when you die, God's grace and mercy will not apply in your life anymore. If your sin is really worth your soul, you should really seriously reevaluate your life. Because you are definitely created to glorify God. You are definitely that was not born a sinner, you were born upright and you were lovingly formed in your mother's womb. When you give in to sin is when you became a sinner. Now you need that shed blood of Jesus Christ. Almost all things were purged in blood. But without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. And the most loving thing that I could do is to love the Lord and then come out and warn you about your sin. And how can you love the Lord if you're living in sin? You don't love God if you're living in sin. You gotta give it up. You gotta forsake it. The Bible says, if you love me, you will turn from sin. So obey the Lord today. You think it's impossible to obey God? He put his laws on your heart so you know what to do. You're created in the image of God so you know what to do. You'll have no excuse on the day of judgment. God's already made that clear. Hey, brother! God's already made that statement. When you stand before God, you'll have no excuse. So right now is the time. Stop suppressing the truth in unrighteousness, which is what you're doing. Turn from the sins that you know to produce sins, because for you it is sin. And turn from it. You, you think all you got to do is make your free will choice to obey God. And he will come and dwell inside you. You want to feel the real high? There's no greater high than the most high. The Holy Ghost. You gotta seek the Lord to get the power of the Holy Ghost. To seek Him, 
and all that do wickedly are going to be burned up, says the Lord of hosts. He's going to leave you neither root nor branch. Straight up. You'll have no excuse on the day of judgment. Come on over here, talk to me. Yeah, I didn't think so. You love your sin. You're in darkness. You love your father, the devil. And that day's coming to an end. What? I got to get water. Amen. Go get your water, man. Just don't forget about the Lord Jesus Christ and the fact that you're created in His image and for His glory. If you don't want to give your life to the Lord, it's because you love your sin. Have a nice day. It's 